Billy Graham said in the 70s that if there's to be awakening, there's gonna be a revival that probably come from Christians in the marketplace. And in some ways, I feel like God has been preparing C12 for 30 years for this moment. The vision of C12 has always been to change the world by bringing the kingdom of God to the marketplace through the lives and companies of men and women that God calls to run for Him. That's the vision. To change the world really is what was in my heart because uh, the world needs to be changed. We have a world that's hurting for security, love, purpose, dignity, respect. All the, uh, the pain of the world is basically crying out for the gospel. It's crying out for the kingdom of God. And business leaders are poised to be the best deliverance of those answers. A lot of people meet me or hear about C12 and go, oh, is this a new thing? Did you start this? And I'm like, no, it's been around for a long time. It's been around for over 30 years. It isn't just a good idea that I pushed. It's a God idea that he led. My best friend, who was the only Christian I knew in the world, uh, called me and invited me and come to work with him in a business that he had committed to Christ. He wanted to show the world that you could be a success as a Christian and a businessman at the same time. And so I joined him and we spent 10 years together. And as it was happening, I met a lot of other Christians that were in business, but none of them had that view or perspective. And I've really felt they were missing it. I felt like, the, you, you, got, you know, you gotta understand, you're on mission whether you know it or not. Jesus never called a part-time disciple, never. If I'm a manager, everything belongs to God. And that means the biggest question is not, how do I accomplish my will in the business, but how do I accomplish my father's will in the business, because it's actually his business. That changes everything. We are called to do our businesses unto the Lord. That's where we came in. We wanted to be both Bible and business and teach at the same time an integrated perspective. We call it one life under the Lordship of Christ. From what was Buck's experiment in 1992 as the Christian 12 group, in many ways, the fundamentals haven't changed. I mean, the core issues a leader faces, whether you're running a CPA firm in Chicago or a construction company in Brazil or a healthcare company in Malaysia, it's still the same issues and the core fundamental solution is the same. When I started, I had no idea if we would succeed or not. No one else had ever done it. We had 32 members start in three groups in Central Florida. At the end of one year, 85% of them were still in the groups. At the end of 10 years, 50% were still in the groups. I had never seen stickiness like that in any Christian business group. So C12 started really as an experiment in Florida. And then it, it expanded across the East Coast and Midwest and West Coast as people were attracted to the mission and wanted to replicate it there. And it wasn't until 2018 we began doing stuff internationally. And here we are now with over 3,000 members across the globe, multiple continents, and looking at a vision of being 5,000 members as this movement has just expanded. In 30 years, we've served thousands of leaders. We've served businesses from 10 employees to 12,000 employees, multinational companies. And so this, this has been a tried and true method. This isn't just a, a sleepy little program that's sustaining. It's the largest community of Christian business owners and peers in the world. And we're seeing more, more growth, more folks coming to the table, literally and figuratively, now than ever before. And I believe this is, this is a golden window of us getting to continue to see that mission and that vision fulfilled.